the 16th of April 2024. You're very welcome back to Read Through Education of Fake News, Electric Cars Update. Um, a lot of the courier companies and a lot of the van companies who are doing deliveries and stuff, and I get a good lot of stuff uh, supplied by couriers. I buy them somewhere in Ireland and they deliver them down. It's a great, great service. It costs a bit, but you get it delivered to your door. But in any event, um, the thing about it is that uh, the big vans or no electric vans that they're buying are not delivering. Uh, the Ford E E Transit, the Ford E Transit is advertised as doing up to two hundred and sixty miles on a charge. It does nothing of the sort. No, sorry, I'm sorry, two hundred and sixty kilometers. And this is the racket they use. It's very convenient to use kilometers to make t people believe it's miles. There's a huge difference. It's five as to eight between a mile and a kilometer. So the point is, these vans that are advertised at doing uh, uh, 260, 240, 260 kilometers are only doing 180. And any of the drivers will tell you there uh, you can't go beyond 160 because you're 20 miles in from it stopping on the roads okay so that's what you have you have in effect 160 kilometers of range in a ford transit van electric van all electric now no diesel engine at all okay so that's one piece now the other thing is that an article that was on, on news talk radio i don't know will they be after me for quoting them i think it's it's over a week old now so i'm probably safe enough the ev it's by james wilson the ev i'm surprised that they, they put out this i'm surprised they did the ev market has become so unsustainable that a Wicklow car dealership no longer accepts them as trade-ins so you buy a new one today you keep it a year it's in perfect condition and they will not buy it off you and i'm not in the least bit surprised anyone that buys them is an idiot in my view for years the car industry told drivers that evs are the future and in the first quarter of 2023 one in four new cars sold in ireland were electric despite the growing enthusiasm of evs among idiots we must add now that's not in the article but i'll put it in there among, despite the growing enthusiasm enthusiasm for evs among idiots Ashford Motors owner Nadia Aden, N A D I A A D I N, unusual name. Well, they're all down in Wicklow. They're all the breed of the, the Normans that came in in the 13th century. The Balfs and all these crowd. <laughs> I, I'm just joking there. Nadia Aden has decided they were more trouble than they were worth for her small dealership. I bet they are. You can get them in, but the, you can't get them out. They remind me of. Do you remember that fable? Uh, where the who was that? I'll oh, tell me on the lead. Where the lion had a den, and uh, the lion, your man, w w come up to the den, and the lion says, "Come on in to see me." And uh, you sit out of this at school, and he says, "I don't think I will." And the lion says, "Why will you not come in? I'm, I'm injured. I have a sore paw." And the lion had a sore paw. He was injured, so he was sitting inside in the cave. And uh, the boy, the, the the boy said to him, "I notice, or was it an animal? I don't know. I notice all the tracks go in, but there's no track coming out. So it's like the electric cars. <laughs> oh, they're all going in, but they're not coming out. All right, because nobody wants them." Despite the growing enthusiasm for EVs, Ashford Motor owner Nadia Aiden has decided they are more trouble than they're worth for her small dealership. The way things are with electric car market currently, it's just so unsustainable with pricing, she told I, the, hard, the hard shoulder. Uh, if they want me to stop using their name, I will. Uh, just let me know, but I don't think they mind. I did come out publicly to say, look, currently I, uh, I won't be taking trade-ins for, e for EVs or buying them in, especially if they're out of warranty. And on my farm here, I have some rough roads. I put the sump out of my caddy once. I had in the yard and I took the yard off to change the islands. I had to go away and I, I punctured the sump. And I had a borer and I punctured the sump of it twice. Where you have bad roads. Now don't forget these batteries are down low to the road. They get ripped, the car is finished. At least with a sump you just switch it off, change the sump. That's it. <coughs> now, so, now just read this bit now without commenting myself. 
I did come out publicly to say, look, currently we won't be taking in, we won't be taking trade-ins of EVs or buying them in, especially if they're out of warranty. Yeah, well, if they're in warranty, you have some hope, but if they're out of warranty. The prices at the moment is just like the stock exchange. You could buy one for 50,000 one week, and the next week you'd get 55 for it. And then it's worth only 40. So it's 50 up and down. So that's exactly, it's a gamble. My small business couldn't absorb a big loss like that, and no one else can. So my opinion is you buy an electric car for 60,000, you'll be lucky to get 30 the next day for it. That's my view. One reason for huge volatility in prices is that the market is currently flooded with new models. Oh, why are they selling them? They're buying them new and they're selling them because they no realise they're a load of junk. They're a big mistake. It's buyer's remorse. That's what is known as looking up on the internet. <coughs> there has been a significant improvement in inter inter international supply. I don't think it's an improvement. The Chinese are flooding the market. There has been a significant improvement in international supply chains since the pandemic came to an end. When we look back on the pandemic years, I hope I'm safe enough saying that, I'm not making any point about it. There was very little supply, Mr. Aiton said. There was a lithium shortage. There was a chip shortage. That's not there anymore. Just shows you the ability of the human race to overcome difficulties. We're seeing more Chinese brands come into the market which is a boosting which is boosting the supply. Mr. Mrs. Aiden also thinks more people are trying to trade in their EVs than was previously the case. So that proves they're not working. Huh? I bought a 2010 caddy van, Volkswagen caddy van, four nearly four years ago now. <coughs> Almost four years, just at the beginning of the pandemic. I mean, I've, I think you have 3,400 euros for it. And I'm driving it since, and I put nearly nothing into it. Only tyres. Huh? Why? <laughs> are the people gone mad? What's the big deal? I'd rather buy, if I had extra money, apart from a holiday or that, or that, or something to the house, do repairs to the farm or the house. But if I had money then to spend, which I do often, I'd buy pieces of machine tools and things, like a, an, an, a, a, um, something for my lathe, even though I might not make much, I'd get much more pleasure out of that than I would with a big fancy car. I would never show off my car. And if I was a multi-millionaire, I wouldn't show off my car. I just don't buy that sort of stuff. Now, so the tra more of them are trying to trade in, they're realizing they were stung badly. And they can take their revenge for that by never voting for any of the established political parties in any election ever again. And voting for the, the Irish Freedom Party, the, the National Party and Independent Ireland and Independent TDs. That's how you get your own back for being lied to folks. So there are more people getting rid of them. We're seeing a lot of people hand back the keys to EVs in Britain and Ireland, she says. There you are. And I know a woman married into a good family and they have businesses, I can't say any more than that, bought an electric car, only kept it a month, but she had to drive down to the south of Ireland on business. There's a little outlet down there and it needed a visit every week. Electric car simply would not do the job. As she said, it didn't do what it said on the pack. We're seeing a lot of people hand back the keys in Ireland and Britain. I used to get two, three calls a week from people trying to get out of electric cars into, the, in, into their diesels. Into their diesels? <laughs> oh, now those calls are five, six, or six times a week. So she was getting two or three a week, a week, a while back, now she's getting five to six times a week. And I can't be that person that tells them that the car they spent 80,000 euros eight months ago is now worth 30 or 40. And what I don't know, and I'd love to know, 
is and i'll post a link underneath does that mean it's worth 30 or 40 euros or 30 to 40 thousand euros i don't know i'll read it to you again because it's not to be boring folks i like to be precise and so that you understand what i'm saying now now those calls from people wanting to get rid of their electric cars used to be two and three a week now they're five and six a week and i can't be the person that tells them that the car that spent eighty thousand eight months ago on is now worth 30 or 40 euros or thousands well i think she probably means thousands but they're actually worthless how would you get rid of them all right batteries mrs aiden miss aiden miss aiden oh better get that right i don't know what her marital circumstances i wonder should i be expected to do a big investigation she could have a boyfriend i could have been married could have children i don't know please don't hold that against me i've just been funny miss aiden said we would love to sell more evs but well why would you love to sell them why oh, well, what's so great about them they're only run on coal you know uh, we'd love to sell more evs but she thinks still thinks it is a big risk given the volatility of the market it's not a risk it's it's a it's a, it's like pouring your money into the liffy she is also she is also worried about the cost of having to replace the batteries of some cars people want to trade in it's like the iphone the technology has changed so much every year she said if the battery goes if the battery does go these warranty companies will say did did you keep it under room temperature did you go over your mileage so in other words they'll find a way to wriggle out of it and i made i made a video about a scottish couple they were gay <laughs> they were a gay couple i made a video a while back where they had a really a tesla sixty thousand euros and they wouldn't replace the battery they found some wee nick underneath and they were able to get out of it they will not pay for these batteries they're just in the business to reap up whatever government money there is okay so what they'll say to you if your battery goes and she, she's in the business and i know that do you keep the battery at room temperature imagine having to provide records of the temperature you keep the battery at imagine having to prove you were never out in, in ice did did you go over your mileage so in other words they're guaranteed for a certain mileage and if you go above that you won't get paid so you might get caught out another way now in its 2001 climate action plan which was never assessed on the sea directive the government set a target of 1 million evs on irish roads by 2030. folks that's all i can say to you there's one born every moment we owe it to our our people and our neighbors and our friends to spread the word around there's an odd company buying them for show purposes they're not clean they're not green they're abusing child labor they're everything that's horrible and everything that's deceitful about our society the irish green party fina fall fine gale labor people before puberty and Sinn Féin. that's where you put your trust well you deserve to get burned but please do not some young person i can imagine maybe a boy maybe from a divided family maybe he hadn't had his father around or his mother or whatever or maybe his father died or his parents died and he's a young man and he's worked hard to get a job he studied hard he now has his job and he decides you know what i need a new car i go and get an electric car and i'll pay it sixty-five thousand for it and i'll take out a loan if your name is john andy or if you're a woman and you're maria or susan for god's sake will you listen to a farmer will you listen to a rural irish farmer go down to a main dealer and get your volkswagen your toyota rav or your toyota whatever events uh, your 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 uh, your nissan if you into that or your audi good car too you mightn't want to drive a caddy van like me but you might want a saloon 
go down and buy one with a two litre diesel engine you're all right with a 1.7 litre two a two litre diesel engine if you're buying a caddy van which you won't be don't buy the 1.6 they have a problem with the injectors buy the two litre version so off you go little diesel throw your drop into it there and away you go you always have a wee drop in the boot if you want you're never stuck if there's a petrol one you're into that i don't like petrols i wouldn't i wouldn't drive a petrol car but look at if you get the right money that's all right too pay no heed to them i've done a video on the filters that's on the exhaust pipes and that'll be well worth looking up and when you get that and it might be no harm to get the garage if you're buying it in the garage get them to clean or regenerate that uh fit is a dpf filter diesel particulates filter Get them to sort that out for you. Make sure you get it serviced. Get the oil changed. And away you go. And you don't have to look after anything. That's my advice. You could spend about 11000 That's plenty. You might with inflation now have to spend twelve or 13000 And that's it. If you spend 60000 you're not right in the head. I have my, you have my greatest sympathy. I love young people. I love advising them. And letting them have a few old grey hairs off my head. You might as well learn the easy way as the hard way. Have nothing to do with these loads of junk. They're only a, a laptop on wheels. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And I can't wait to hear those who think these things work to get after me here. And I will not delete your comment. As one fellow said before, I'm very disappointed in you criticizing electric cars. They're a load of hot for you. That's all they are. And Eamon Ryan and Catherine Martin. They can't even build a children's hospital and they can tell us what we should be driving. Bye. See you back for something else. Good luck.